Iceland right now. Ooh. As you probably guessed, I'm in Iceland right now. I arrived in the very early hours of the 1st of July and it was very neat because on the plane uh, they had a selection of Icelandic cinema and television to watch along with some music from that. So naturally, I listened to people. <laughs> anyway, I'm here for ATP Iceland, which I'm going to talk about shortly. <laughs> ATP Iceland is a music festival near Keflavik in Iceland. Obviously. It's a small festival with two stages. The Atlantic Studios, which is essentially just a large aircraft hangar. As the site used to be an old NATO airbase used by the US. And Andrews Theatre, which is just a small community centre, really. I arrived on the 1st at the festival site, but it didn't start for another day, so uh, I just had to wander around. And I went to the Blue Lagoon to have some relaxation time, and I'd highly recommend going there. It's, it's 45 euros to get in, but it's, it's worth every penny. It's just, oh, it's bliss. As I was leaving, I bumped into Killer Mike, a one half of Run the Jewels. So I asked for a picture, and his wife snapped a, a pic of us. And after that, I went to look at mountains because I had to wait for my, my bus back. <laughs> the next day, I headed to the festival, which what looked like the smallest campsite ever. This is the smallest campsite ever. Now that, that was a good bit of preamble now and I'm, I'm finally going to talk about the music. So this is my day one review, so to speak. It's not really a review, it's more a narration, but whatever. So the first act that I saw was Chelsea Wolfe who, you know, very dark kind of gothic rock slash metal slash ambient singer songwriter. I guess. And she came on the stage with this huge kind of ominous black robe and it looked amazing and she sounded amazing but I didn't get to see much of it because of personal stuff I had to go sort out outside. So I missed quite a lot of it but for what I did see it looked great and I can finally say that I've seen Chelsea Wolf live because I've been wanting to see her live for quite a while. But I did see a good amount, enough for me to uh, feel happy. My tent is leaking. So then uh, Death Heaven came on, as I said. It's just two stages, the big stage and the small stage. And every single person I saw was at the big stage, so I just stayed there the whole time. So Death Heaven, uh, a post-rock and shoegaze band, kind of, with, with kind of a black metal fusion to it. The mix wasn't great at the beginning as the vocals were completely inaudible but it was sorted out relatively quickly. The front man has excellent energy on stage, uh, he's a very expressive performer, uh, very maniacal at points, just very sinister, which worked really well. He came to the audience and, and stage dived, well not really, he got up the barrier and then climbed into the audience. It's not really the same as stage diving. And then a crowd member uh, threw a bottle on stage and he just spit at them, just w with no hesitation. And it's in such a collected manner, it was like a completely instinctive response, instead of spewing a, a hideous invective towards the audience member, like, ah, oh, fuck you, get the fuck out of my show. So then I went to see The Bug, which was, hmm, it was kind of like a live electronic performance, but with with live vocalists. There were these two rappers who were contributing to his sound. Very grime influenced. Um, at one point I thought the, the rapper was Dizzy Rascal, but, but no, they just sounded very similar. It was really nice electronic hip hop. It was very entertaining to watch. And at the end he was, he was scratching the decks to the point where it generated a protracted and chaotic kind of drone. <laughs> And yeah, it, it, it was pretty cool. Again, I'd, I'd recommend seeing the bug live. Good, good, good fun. Good, 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 good fun. <sighs> so then I went to see Public Enemy. I mean, do I really even need to explain who Public Enemy are? Seminole hip hop group from New York, and they played really well. They had a live band, and, and Flavor Flav was playing slap bass, which was just really strange because I didn't even know he played an instrument. I thought he was just the hype man. And then later he played drums as well. And while he was introducing the uh, the DJ that they have, he started playing Smells Like Teen Spirit, which was really 
a strange moment, but it, it was really cool. <laughs> And it was just, it was a great show. I mean, it was brilliant to, to see all of these songs that I love uh, perform live. And, I, you know, when when are you going to get another chance to see Public Enemy live? It's uh, in Iceland as well. Which brings me on to the next point, because uh, Flavor Flav, at the end, was just bawling his eyes out. He was really, uh, really emotional. And he said, this, this is the biggest applause we've ever had at any show for Public Enemy. Which was really crazy. <laughs> And he, he was crying with tears of joy. And then afterwards he proceeded to, to lecture everyone um, about how much he hates racism and separatism, which was always good to hear. It's always, always good to be reminded that racism is a bad egg. It was a good moment. So then afterwards, I want to see Iggy Pop. This is another person I don't need to introduce. Just, you know, classic rock showman. Pretty much uh, formed the basis of punk music uh, with his band The Stooges. And it was a great show. He played all the hits, except for Stuff From Raw Power, which is my favorite album of his. Although it's not really his album, it's this Iggy and The Stooges, but whatever. But no search or destroy, no gimme danger. I mean, He was his typical expressive self, um, and unpredictable self, may I add. Just throwing bottles on the floor and, and smashing the mic stand on the ground. At one point, accidentally uh, hitting one of the um, security guards at the bottom, this female security guard, who at the end he was just like, sorry. And at one point he put his hands down his... his, his uh, what should I say? Pants, trousers, underpants. I'm just going to say trousers and pants because then that eliminates all ambiguity. I've always wanted to see Iggy Pop live, so this was a good opportunity to do so. And yeah, that was really it. I wanted to go and see Bell and Sebastian and run the jewels, but I was just too tired. It was especially sad because I promised Kill and Mike I'd go and see Run the Jewels. And let him down. I can't believe I let him down. Mike, please forgive me. <laughs> so that's it, really. Um, there's a good lineup tomorrow, not as good as today's. Ice Age, Clipping, Mud, Honey, Drive Like Jehu, Godspeed You Black Emperor, and The Field, so... Pretty good lineup. So this is me, ATP Iceland, you know, whatever. I hope you're having a good day, doing whatever you're doing, wherever you happen to be. And... Yeah. I'll see you a lot later with uh, a second day review. Coming tomorrow. Yeah. Cool. I sound very, very infused right now. But trust me, I'm happier than I actually appear to be. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm very tired.